has clean old-fashioned hate lost a little bit of its lust over the years uh Georgia beats Georgia Tech most of the time for the last 20 years if you go back and look at it I've got it pulled up right in front of me and they're slated to play this week they always play the the Saturday after Thanksgiving and that has been rivalry week for a rivalry week for a while in college football where a lot of in-state rivals and big-time rivals play but has clean old-fashioned hate what it's been dubbed lost a little bit of of its pop of of that the hatred I mean Georgia Georgia's got a few different rivals Georgia Tech being one of them Ryan Carly from Dog Post here bringing you all the details and some commentary and a little bit of my take on this rivalry um, and what I've seen from it so I'll just uh I'll just jump out you know I was born in 2001 so you do your math uh, and that time Georgia Tech has only beat Georgia three times I have only seen Georgia Tech beat Georgia three times and I've seen Georgia beat them a bunch of times that's just what I've seen obviously I think this rivalry used to be a bigger deal back in the 80s and 90s I think that's just the case I'm not discounting the fact that Georgia Tech and Georgia hate each other and that the game is a big deal and that it matters I mean uh, it definitely does Georgia hates Georgia Tech Georgia Tech hates Georgia they hate each other as, as schools as football teams that's that's how it is they're about an hour and a half away from each other maybe a little bit less and the rivalry is real but um, just from what I've seen Georgia has pretty much dominated Georgia Tech and Georgia has been a high-ranked team and and almost I mean I'm gonna go through from 2001 Georgia's number 19 Georgia's number 5 number 5 number 8 number 13 unranked number 6 I mean they are consistently one of the best teams in the country and Georgia Tech has consistently not been very good I think Georgia Tech has made one near six bowl in the last 10 years I, if I'm wrong you let me know um, about that but and also at some point you uh, dog post fans I want you to let me know in the comments what you think about the Georgia Tech rival rivalry and think and tell me how you feel that rivalry compares to Auburn and Florida because those are probably Georgia's three biggest rivals between them tell me what you think who do you hate the most uh, who do you which game if Georgia were to lose which game uh, one of those games which one would sting the most um, you know, I know that Alabama is not one of Georgia's rivals per se. Auburn, Tech, and Florida are their three rivals, right? That's how it is. But just from what I've watched in my lifetime, Alabama has had that big brother mentality over Georgia, and Alabama has not lost to Georgia, and Alabama has beat them in key games and during the regular season. Um, and, you know, growing up a Georgia fan, I always hated Alabama the most because Georgia couldn't get over the hump and I think uh, other young people like me feel that way um, and you know I think it's interesting uh, obviously Georgia doesn't play Bama every year they don't and that's why they're not a rival but the game right now I think matters a little bit more than the Tech game I mean you want to beat Alabama if you're Georgia, and you're going to get the chance to do that. Um, you're going to be in Atlanta two weeks in a row, playing Tech and Alabama back-to-back, -back, and you get the chance to beat Alabama. Look, we talked to Channing Tindall today in, in media availability, and someone asked him about the Georgia Tech rivalry, and Channing answered uh, talking about Alabama. Alabama's on their mind. Alabama's on this team's mind. Alabama is has had um, a hold over Georgia the last few years, and the, the Alabama game has completely overshadowed uh, the Tech game in the mindset of some of these players, clearly, and I think in the mindset of some fans. I mean, is anyone really worried about Georgia Tech beating Georgia this weekend? I don't think so. I think Georgia's going to dominate the Yellow Jackets. I mean, that's just what it is. Um, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but Georgia Tech hasn't been as relevant as these other teams. Auburn... You know, I think it really depends on who you ask as to who Georgia's biggest rival is because everyone has a different opinion and hates a different team the most. It, um, obviously, this one's called clean old-fashioned hate. You know, some people say you shouldn't hate, but you hate you hate your rival teams. That's how it is. You hate other teams. You hate certain foods. Hate is a real thing. That's how it is. And I don't know that as many people hate Georgia Tech as they do Auburn or Florida or even Alabama. And I know... or. You know, Tennessee is not a rival of Georgia, but they are in the SEC. South Carolina is not a rival of Georgia. They're just 
SEC's teams that they have to play every week. Auburn, Florida, and Tech, and I think Alabama, in a way, is, is a rival, but people care more about the Alabama game than, than the Georgia Tech game. And if if one of your leaders on defense, well, I just Georgia's defense is stacked, but Channing Tindall matters, and he is um, a senior and, and is a leader on this defense, answers the question about Georgia Tech um, talking about how they want to beat Alabama, then I think that kind of shows you where this rivalry has gone. I don't think it's as strong as it used to be. In my 20 years on earth, Georgia Tech has only beaten Georgia in three of them. Um, Georgia owns Georgia Tech right now, and I don't think that's going to change this week. And let me know in the comments what you think about Georgia's rivalries and who do you, who do you hate the most as a Georgia fan? Who do you want to beat the most? Um, tell me if I'm wrong about anything. I don't care what you, if you tell me I'm wrong, to, to put it simply. But, and if you're not, go to the site, dogpost.com. Go subscribe. I don't know what you're doing if you're not. See you there.